We will be traveling across North America in search of the best teenage soccer players. They'll be picked in order to compete for a single position at the Everton Youth Academy. This is their chance to go pro and earn a six-figure contract. Only one of these skilled athletes will survive the final cut, but most of them will endure the frustration of failure. How many of you would scratch people's eyes out and take everything to be a footballer? You have to live it. You have to breathe it. It's got to envelop you. But that's my life. It has to be your life. Get on the ball! Our talented soccer experts are Steve Niger, Jason Messa, Bassam Name, Hubert Busby, and Ray Hall, manager of the Everton Youth Academy. It doesn't matter how good you think you are. It only matters how good we think you are. This is the dream. I'm coming to see if we can find the play. Are you the one? Another day in soccer dreams. The coaches are discussing the next few player cuts. We asked Mr. Hall about the process. As far as the soccer dream is concerned, the facility is first class. I mean, we look, we've got fields here that uh, would do justice to any part of the world. And, and uh, it's only right and proper that if, if we're talking about elite players, uh, you get elite facilities and you use elite coaches. The coaches and the, the staff that are here, I know nothing about the film side of it and that production side, but everybody seems to be top drawer in what they're doing. I know about coaches and the coaches you've got working here uh, are as good as I've seen. After breakfast, a decision has been made. Mark? Can you bring uh, the second young player that we're going to, to release tonight? Chris Arnett. Chris joined Soccer Dreams in BC. Hi, my name's Chris Arnett. I'm a center midfielder. I play for UBI Gunners, and I'm willing to do everything today to get there. I want to go to Everton so bad. It's my dream. First thing you notice is his speed and love of the game. I work so hard. I'm going to leave everything on this field today. I'll come back again. I'll, I'll come back as, ma as many times as it takes. I'm quick and I want the ball all the time. I'm the one. I want the ball right now and I will play. I'm the one. I'm the one. I want the ball all the time. No one else can have it. I want it. I'll distribute it, but I want it first. It's going to go through me. I'm the one. I am the one. You made it through to the next round. After a rigorous test, he made the cut and the trip to the House of Champions and the Oz Dome. Oh my God. Okay, 
Heading to his right! Okay, gentlemen, remember you'll be watched from this point onward. Uh, Steve and Kathy Arnett, and we're from Ladysmith, British Columbia, and our son is Chris Arnett. Fantastic opportunity, fantastic. Uh, we're excited, he's excited, uh, he's passionate about the game, and uh, this facility is outstanding. Make sure, make sure, make sure, make sure. Uh, he, uh, he lives for this game and he lives for the competition. It's an opportunity of a lifetime and uh, it's an opportunity to build character. That's what soccer is all about. And uh, it's an opportunity to uh, have a lot of fun at the same time. Chris's parents deserve to be proud of him. Quicker, can we go quicker? Well, that's it. Yeah. Good. Yeah. How's it feel? Uh, it feels great. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's a lot warmer. There's a lot more space. Um, I've walked around and just, I've enjoyed it, but I haven't used a pool or anything. Just try not to get like overconfident. They have, they have a good team, they have good, they have a good team, but so do we. We just, we had a bit more trouble gluing together as a team, I think. And it was our first day, but regardless, we should have done better to impress. Um, I just try to keep myself calm, and I just I just focus on what I need to do personally, all my personal battles on the field, because that'll benefit the team. I just hang out with friends. I go to the gym. I, I juggle a soccer ball. <laughs> Once in the house, Chris showed a lot of respect and participated in all aspects of the game, including the house chores. Coming up, Chris has been called to meet the coaches. Many players had to go home. Who will be cut and forced to take the walk of shame? No, no, no. It, I just have sensitive eyes. Like, my grandma and my mom had it. Like, my mom had surgery on hers before. Oh, because I, I think that was. In Ottawa, Chris proved to be a challenge to the best players. Yeah, well, there's like Keep ifs and buts in any what game. What's your option? What's like, your option? There's controversy behind every game. And like it just so happened that it started raining and the game had to be cancelled. But like we gotta respect the pitch, right? Like that pitch is amazing and we can't ruin it because we have to be here for the next few days. Or I hope anyways, you know? No, because like everyone everyone likes to see the goals, right? But there's build up to every play, like the play has to start somewhere else. Unless you jump through everyone's score. But there's there's other aspects of the game instead of just scoring goals, like there's defending, there's attacking like as a team, as a unit, or by yourself. I don't know, it's, it's a little different, it's different in any case, right? But the coaches are smart, like these coaches are amazing coaches, they, they see things. Like Collectively you win together and you lose together, right? But they, they see individual talent during the game. Like, it's not like they're completely blind to you if you're losing. Obviously it's nicer to win, but they, they can see that like they can see individual efforts and your efforts as a team, regardless of winning or losing. There, there's a lot of skill here, like, there's, there's lots of skill where I play too. But, like, these players were specifically chosen out of groups of players that I have played before as well. And, yeah, there, there's a few players that I've played before, and they're here as well. Like, it just shows like, there's talent everywhere. Like, all, the, all these players are talented, otherwise they wouldn't be here. It's good to know other players on your team, okay. or on the other team, right? But these players are gifted enough on the ball and have an, are, that have enough skill that like it's not always the same thing that they do, right? They can switch anything up. Like their touch could go a completely different way. Like you can't you can't cheat a bit and like assume he's gonna do something. But it happens sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes you succeed or fail with that. But you, you can't guess too much because these players are skilled. Like they they can read you as well.
Well, because the game's always changing. Game's always on. There's no like stops. There's no like downs, right? Yeah. Like, the only time the play really stops is when you're getting a ball from off the field. Well, yes and no, because like the play, it can move, but it can also stay in the same spot. Like once you're out of one area, it's not impossible to come back. Yeah. And like the ball moves around constantly, right? I would have to keep stressing to these players is that it's never enough for you to win a game. You got to keep going because the teams that did end up in the House of Champions, they sort of dropped their standards quite quickly and then ended up in the dome. Uh, so I think that's something that we need to maintain to let the boys know that, hey, you got to keep working hard because there's someone nipping at your heels for that, that part or, or that, that spot on the field. And, and hopefully we've done the job and, and we'll, we'll have to see. Chris had nothing bad to say about anyone. Coming up, would Chris be able to stay? Hi, Chris. Many players had to go home. Who will be cut and forced to take the walk of shame? Hi, Chris. Okay. Uh, we've made decisions this evening based on, on a number of things, um, which I made at the presentation. Physical qualities, technical qualities, your lifestyle, and, and so on. They're based on our experience and their opinions, okay? You may be disappointed, but unfortunately you've not made it to the next round. But it would be a little bit remiss of all the gentlemen here not to give you some feedback, okay? We would hope you would take it on board, go back, work on it, and go to the next level. That's your choice, okay? Let me say straight away, you have a good right foot in terms of was it one, two goals you scored in the first practice this morning? Sorry, this afternoon, the games? I saw one rifled in. I saw one. One was. Okay, well, well, and it was a good one. So let's not, you, you know, that that's the... Physically, I'm not sure where you would play. What's your favourite position? I use a centre midfield. Centre midfield. Okay. You look like one of those boys that, you know, you're not, maybe not that quick to play up front. Physically, height-wise, you may not be a defender, midfield okay. Now whether you've got the technical quality to play in there, I don't know, at the level that we're talking about. Um, often I, when I'm looking at, at, at 
uh, practices and games. I'm looking for the player that makes a difference. And I'm afraid it wasn't you. When I watched the games, you didn't do anything that made me say, yeah, he can go to the next level. Okay. Uh, but I, 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 I can re-emphasize to you, it is an opinion, well, well, many years experience, but it's an opinion that you may want to consider and go away and take an attitude, I'll show them, I'll show them those guys, because you know, they were wrong. Chris, I think um, I'd like to say something about you being with me for the few days that I've just met you. Regardless of the decision, I think um, I have to commend you on how you came in and you took on the right defender position, yeah. um, knowing well enough that you told me that you'd like to play midfield and said we need you on defense, and you took that and you adjusted to it and you're asking questions and you went through the struggle of it and you came out of it nicely. Uh, unfortunately, you don't meet the standard that Everton's looking for. But beside that. I thought you showed an amazing attitude toward the game, and that's commendable. That was a good, that was a good days, few days that we worked together. Very respectful attitude is top notch, and I was very happy to to work with you that year, during that thank period of time. So thank you very much, and you should congratulate yourself for being here and for displaying that good attitude and being part of the group. And you should take that as a positive note. I'll work on it, and good luck in the future. Thank you. Having not uh, worked closely with you as uh, Coach Bassam, one of the things I, I would say though, as we played you know, against you in those uh, different competitions and scrimmages, is you are a competitor. And one of the things that definitely stood out you know, on the pitch in the scrimmages was the fact that you didn't want to lose a ball and you competed for everything. And, you know, and that's a, that is a tremendous quality to have. So regardless of football or anything you look to do, you know, keep that quality. You know, keep the fact that you're here shows that you know you have that that strength of character to go through with, and you'll be a, a better person from this experience. I'm the one that chose you to come here, and the reasons why I brought you here was your work ethics and. That's what kept you here, but unfortunately, as Ray says, you just don't meet the standards of Everton. But you've got a lot of good other qualities that if you were to harness what Ray says, you can go a long way in football life. But you can also take the work ethics that you have on the field, son, apply them to your personal life. You're a great young man. It's my pleasure to have you here. And there's absolutely nothing to be ashamed about. You're one of the guys that made it to top 36 here in Ottawa. you got a long way to go in football, but I think you'll do very well in life in general because of your attitude, the fire that you have inside you, not to the way you go after that ball, win that ball. I think you'll carry that over in your personal life and hopefully one day you'll, you'll say, you know what, this was the best experience you've had here and, and use this to catapult kind of yourself into bigger and better things. Good luck, son. Thank you. Chris, before you go, do you want to say anything? I just want to thank you guys for giving me the opportunity. That's it. Like, being around the coaching staff is great. That's uh, unbelievable. That's, again, thank you. Good luck. Chris, good luck. Good luck. Thank you. You need, uh, well, unfortunately, you need to pack your things. Make a call to your family, yeah. Because, unfortunately, you'll be leaving the House of Champions this evening. Good luck. Goodbye. Oh, no. Not easy, this is it? No, it's, um, I mentioned it, it's a cold world. It's a sad day for Chris, but his friends comfort him and share his sorrow. Okay, gentlemen, uh, we, we go through and we tell the boys who we've retained 
for, for this evening, the good news. Okay? Let's do it. Okay, the good news time. All of you boys are still being kept, retained, certainly until tomorrow. However, they can't grieve for too long. Now they have to celebrate the fact that they are staying on for another day. All will be eliminated, except for one. Who will be cut next? They say you live once, so I live once to the fullest. Respect the game, respect the name. A day to the free block, the giving in pain. I was king in the streets until they put me in chains. I got the heart of the gang, the humble boss of the gang. I did my time in the gang, yeah, I'm ready to die. Got my for the streets, a lot of pain in my mind. Nobody can stop that, I did the rap. Hit the ready to die, you hear the sound of the Mac. Nobody can stop that, I did the rap. Hit the ready to die, you hear the sound of the Mac. Training day to sequel, money's the root of evil. Dying is guaranteed to I live my life to free. Lord, I came from the ghetto, even murder with metal. If you heard it together, you will see the reason my mental. Going through pain, if you insane, then we the same. I'm right aside to the time of this bar, it's only rain. I was born a poor boy, mama and four boys. Shackled inside the little room, mama can bring joy. So I turn corrupted and sold it, evil my soul. Too much pain, I'm trying to get back home. So I turned corrupted and stole the evil my soul Too much pain, I'm trying to get back home